morning, everybody. Well, it's already been a traumatic uh, couple of episodes here so far. Almost had a crash up at McDonald's there when I was getting a coffee. A woman tried to overtake me as I was turning uh, to go into the drive through So thank you, lady, for not knowing what indicators are. Almost caused a big crash there. So she, she got, a, not a mouthful, but, you know, she knew she'd done wrong. And then the girl in Halfords there, who was on the phone to her friend when I was trying to buy some brake and clutch fluid, uh, she was saying, oh, you coming in at one instead of two, and just refused to even look at me. So what I did was I took the brake in the clutch. So this is the start of our day. Engines well, up. Halfords, you can get it right up your ass because I got it in Morrison's garage for seven uh, for three pounds, and you wanted seven pound forty nine. Yes, tell them, bro. You're having a giraffe, mate. I tell you. Right, so this is what's happening here. We've so today's out. video is sponsored by Morrison's Brake Fluid. Yes. So Don't go to Halfords. It's very corrosive. This so be careful. <laughs> now we just pour a little bit in. This is where it makes a complete mess. This is where the Betty Brothers are useless, I'm afraid. We really are quite pathetic for um, mechanical aptitude yes. and we just hope things will just go away and you know any rattles or noises or fluid levels will just suddenly you know rise up or go away or whatever. So there we go. That's the rest of the engine looking. What's this stuff here? This is a spizz engine. That's the. Is that uh, you filled up, is it? Oh, that looks like it might need a wee bit of water, but I'll, it'll be okay, I think, is it? Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh. it's okay. No, it's meant to do that. That's all right. That's just the coolant and things in there. So we're okay. Starship Enterprise is okay. Good to go. Thank you very much. Ooh. Yes. All right. The ambulance, they come right up our asses. Panic stations. This is a horrific junction. This is a nightmare junction to cross, no. Right, where am I? I'm going up that way, the land yeah. the yes. Whoa, oh, oh, the glory coming. Oh, oh no! Oh, we're gonna die! Oh, oh no! Oh, what's, what's he doing here? Oh, what's Christ going on? knows. What's happening? Where's he going? Where's he going? I don't know. Follow <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ambulance! Follow oh, that ambulance! What's going on? Yes. <laughs> it's a new hobby. <laughs> Looking for limbs. Yes. That was horrible. Sorry. He's slowed, anyway. he's slowed down a bit, hasn't he? Yes. Talking about for a rant here about oh, the no uh, the man. roads. Honestly, people drive. It says 20 miles an hour. People are driving around here, and the chips are going everywhere. I've already been hit on the windscreen by one. So I gave him a big two on the horn, but you know, oh, people are just really annoying me today, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry today. <laughs> Yes, it was an extreme rant there, and bro, should have got on film. Honestly. Lots of loose chippings on the road here, it's not good. It's not. I've come across this uh, marsupial thing, oh, this kangaroo yes, in somebody's a, garden. There's another one up here, look, there's a lady or something up here, what's that? Like, there's a person, you see it? Oh, it's, yeah. a good, it's a wood carving place. Wood carving place, that's obviously why. the most interesting thing of the day so far. <laughs> Signs of danger all, all over oh, the place today. Danger. danger, keep away. Fraught with danger. Keep away. This place that uh, bro. Oh wow, yeah, has been here before. But look, if you look behind us here, these are all what are they, bro? The old um, where well, the people used to stay at the airports. <laughs> well, what's those things called? I don't know. Hangers. Yeah, well, yeah. Hang where on, the what? soldiers might used to stay in. Uh, oh, like barracks. Yeah, barracks kind of thing. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's a bit overgrown. So I don't know if we can get in there today. Damn it. Well, as I said, unfortunately, it's just a little bit overgrowing for us to get in today. Plus, it's in somebody's garden, kind of, anyway, so I don't think we're going to get in there. It's far too overgrown. Well, I'm in these woods trying to get to the, uh, the back of some of these. Oh, I don't know what they are, but you can just see them there. Not really much to report at all, plus there was a dog barking and... Well, I don't think I'm going to get in here, hang on. Oh, damn, I'm stuck. Well, I have sneaked around the back here, but honestly, it's just a dump. So this hasn't been very exciting at all. No, this is no good. I'm having a pure mare. There's I am, look. What's that? There's something funny with the, the video today, it doesn't seem to be... Focusing properly on. I'm just having an absolute man. Oh, look, everything's all blurred. Where? It's, all, it's not good, bro. Right, that's it. Somebody. That is it. Just to compound my misery for the day, bro is map reading and he's taken me into this 
Oh, God knows what. We're just lost. You just can't read the map at all. It's pathetic. It really is. I think we're going to have a falling. This could be the first time we're ever having a falling out on camera. Honestly. Good for berry picking, but not for spizzing. I, I, I've seen nothing today. Absolutely nothing. Honestly. Games, well, this is the excitement of our day so far. Look what we've found. This is incredible. Look at this. There, look at that. It's like the Wicker Man. Excellent. We, we found something. Oh, there he is. Fergus, he is called, and he's made out of hay and, I don't know, it's piping or something. Excellent. Very good. Right, well, we have eventually arrived here at the Glen Burby Chapel, yes. And what we're looking for is the gravestones of two of Robert Burns's great grandparents. Now, according to this book, Discovering Angus and Murns by Duncan Fraser, what we're looking for is two graves that are close together, buried in the soil. Uh, one is for William Burns of Bogjorgan, or Bogjorgan, and uh, great grand uncle of the poet, while the younger was James Burns of Barlamur, the poet's great grandfather. <laughs> so, we're going to go looking for these graves. And they're just in. Over there somewhere. That's it. There we go. Oh, I'm dying to pull it. Don't pull it. Okay, I won't pull it anyway. Oh, it's nice, nice enough church with the, the things on the, the edge. That's quite usual. I think we've come to the wrong place though. But I can't see any graves. No. Nah. Oh, hell's teeth. Must be a cemetery just, just down road. Looks like there's a good boiler room here though. <laughs> an old water spout thing. Well, I think we've come to the wrong graveyard. This one looks a bit modern. So I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's in this one. No? No. Nah. Must be another one down the road. A couple old... What name was it again? Bog something. There's Bowie down the bottom having a look. No luck. So it looks like we need to go and find another graveyard because this one's a bit uh, a bit modern for our liking and we're not going to find the stones that we're looking for here. So on we go. Soon be time for lunch though. And a coffee, yes. And here comes Jack behind me. Hope he's calmed down a bit now. He's got map rage. Spiz rage. Here he comes. <laughs> there must be another grave nearby though. No bro, no luck. Nothing at all bro, no. Cool. Most most disappointing. Right, let's move on and try and find the correct one. Yeah. Right, well at last we seem to have arrived at the uh, the original old kirkyard. Uh, it took a wee while to find this, but we have found it, so bro's already in. Let's go find these graves. Well, as you can see it's uh, Quite a rickety old graveyard. And there's, oh, there's a mort house. Excellent. So we're going in to find these graves. So it's William Burnett. That's yes. What have you got, bro? Have you found something? I think it just tells you the same story. It's in your. All oh, right. But it says William Burnett and Christian Fotheringham, John Burnett. Well, here we are. Going through the graves. There's hundreds of them. Oh no. Right, who's going to find it first? Here we go. Right, well, uh, I've only been looking for a few minutes and I have already found the graves of uh, Burns' grandparents. But I'm not going to tell Bro, I'm just going to let him keep on searching, right? But here they are, right behind me, the graves of the uh, grandparents of Robert Burns. They're here. Oh, here they are. Not much to see, really. A bit of blank. That one's a little bit better, but not much really to see. Hmm. Was it worth coming all this way just for that? I don't know. It's a very interesting uh, looking tomb in here. In this kind of mort house place. Wow. Very interesting. That looks like a skeleton on the top bit. 
So there's lots of writing. I can't really read what it says, but I'll try and get a better picture of that. Oh, look at that on the bottom there. That's amazing. Great. Right, I'm going to take a photograph of that. Now here's another view of it from the side. I need to investigate this. Well, there really is a right jumble in here. Lots of graves. Um, really close together. Look at them all. Hundreds of them. Very interesting. But this one here behind me in particular, I need to try and investigate who lies in there, because that was a really interesting old grave in there. I like that one, that was good. Right, anyway, onward. So there, right in the middle of the picture, that is where the graves of Robert the Burns' grandparents are buried. As you can see, they're all facing... Uh, what direction would that be? So east, I suppose, would it? That'll be for the... Uh, in anticipation of the second coming of Christ. Yeah, they all face the same way, see that? There you go. Right, well, this is the time of uh, our adventure again to give us a mark out of 10 on the old spizometer. So today, this is going to get a four out of 10. Ooh, it's a four. Just a four. four. A, a poor four. Poor four. A poor four, <laughs> because, well, I mean, it's here. I mean, it took us ages to get here. And we went to the wrong kirkyard to start with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice old kirkyard, very old kirkyard. So, I mean, that, that's why the mark has been up because it's quite an exciting little find, this kirkyard. But yeah, I think it's a, 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 a four. Okay, four's not a bad mark.